Hey guys, and welcome to Multicolor Print Monday. I'm your host, Rich, and of course, our co-host as always, Big Benchy. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So this week I was digging around at Slicer Settings and I found something. Well, let me tell you guys, you will not believe what I found and what you can do with it. So stay tuned because I'm about to blow your mind. Now the timing of this could not be more perfect because I also just recently found this disc of old files. And one of the files on here, guys, brought tears to my eyes. So let's go up to my desk, open this up, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Huh, been looking for that. All right, guys, now that that's loaded up, let's take a look at what we've got. Now, if I remember from the other day, the file that we want to take a look at is this sadtree.stl. Actually, what even is this? What the heck? I'm not even really sure where that came from. I've never seen it before ever in my life. So let's get this sad tree STL opened up. All right, guys, now that we've got this open, I think it's obvious why this tree is so sad and apologies to sensitive viewers. I also struggled when I first opened this up because this tree just has no bottom. It's, it's one of the saddest things I've ever seen. I, I don't know what the history of this is. I don't know if maybe a virus ate the bottom of the tree or what happened to it. Uh, this is how I found it, and I've just always kept it, hoping that one day we would have the technology to do something about it. And well, let's just cut right to it. So the setting that I found is under support. And if we enable support, we come down here to type. And this is, I, I'm blown away by this, but there's actually an option in here for tree. Now, I, I don't know at what point this was added. I don't know if this was... Uh, targeted specifically at me as a user. I, I don't, I mean, you guys tell me down in the comments if you even have this setting in your slicer. But if I turn this on, I this is what I'm really excited about. I just, I just want to see what happens. So we've got it set to tree. I'm going to slice this. Oh my gosh. I, I, I don't even have words. I am... I'm blown away. So I, I'm just going to hit print. I, I can't even, I, I, I can't even talk about it. Let's just hit print and just see what happens. Well guys, it is done and it is absolutely breathtaking in person. I'm sure the video is not doing it justice, but from the hot pink color to the beautiful fake wood texture on the top of this tree, it is just beautiful. Now, it's not without its flaws. For example, this isn't completely attached here, which definitely didn't happen when I just dropped it on the garage floor right now. And there is a little bit of light stringing here on there is a little bit of light stringing up here on the top of the tree. And I think we could probably fix that in the slicer settings if we wanted to go for a V2 on this. But at the end of the day, that stringing feels very organic and I think it just lends itself to the beautiful detail. What the heck? Big Benchy, where did you go with the tree? Big Benchy, no! It's only a model. 